Vesher Vchato everybody, it's Pan Roman and today we're gonna do this blueprint effect. So let's jump right into the Cinema 4D and start the Octane Render. By the way, you can find this model in the link below. Let's leave our settings as a default for now and go to Objects and create the HDRI environment. Click on the icon and go a little lower, press on No Tree icon, then delete this shit. Choose RGB spectrum, plug it in, choose the blue color for a background. But the problem is, everything starting to be... Let's solve this problem, and for this let's close all the windows and go to HDRI settings to type and choose visible environment. Now it starts to look a little better, let's create a new diffuse material, rename it to outline for better understanding, and let's go to note editor and start to make a material. Adjust our window. A little. Perfect. Let's start from curvature effect and plug into the opacity. In the shader settings, let's change the mode to all. Now we need to play with these parameters to have this thin line look eventually. Main two parameters for get this look will be strength and radius. When you will be satisfied, let's choose fall off. Plug that into opacity that will replace previous results, don't worry. And play with the parameters to get this thin contour lines and almost invisible body. Let's press spacebar, search gradient ramp, drag this out, hold alt key and then drag it to connection line and then release. Our goal here is to enhance our previous result and have thin contour lines and invisible body part. After we are satisfied, we need to mix these two nodes together and add node will help us with it. Plug everything in like I did on the video and let's go to the next step. To get rid of perfect lines look, we need a marble node. If you hold Alt, you can plug that in immediately. Let's drag out transform node first and then you can click and drag to have projection node also. On the projection, let's choose distorted mesh UV and press space. Search for a mosaic node, drag that out, and let's plug all three into the texture projection node just in case. In texture projection settings, we need to go to the translation tab and go to translation range. The bigger value is, the more chunky look you will get. On transform node, change size to get even more obvious chunky look. You can play also in the marble node with the parameters to have different results. Now you can relax a bit and I will show you the comparison of previous result and existing one and you will see how drastically these imperfections will change the overall look. Great, now let's add one more detail and for that let's copy and paste add node and plug that in. From second input let's drag out this line and search for a flow texture node. Something looks wrong now, but it's okay. Let's change this parameter to very low value and you'll see this ghosty body look. It will give us a better idea on what object are we looking on. If you want to change the color of the lines in the body, just simply choose RGB spectrum node and plug that in into the diffuse channel. Choose your color and that's it. Now I will do the final touches and it's ready. So here's a final result, the beautiful blueprint effect that is totally 3D and you can rotate it, do whatever you want with it, just with a few clicks. I hope you like it and enjoy it and learn something new. Ring the bell, subscribe because more is coming. Be my Patreon and you'll have all the project files. Link is down below. And half of your donations will go to support Ukraine. That is very important now. So stand with Ukraine. Вірте в ЗСУ та все буде Україна.